All right, ladies and gentlemen, you wait for this all night long, and you put up through the afternoon, and when the Molesburg show finally starts, you say, where's the panel? Well, the panel is here. It has arrived, and joining us on the panel is a, a fellow at the Manhattan Institute, Yevgeny Feynman, and uh, we welcome him back, and also conservative scholar at the Heritage Foundation. Uh, we welcome in uh, Ed Hazelmeyer. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Thanks, Hello. thanks for having me. Well, good, good, good to speak to both of you. We were just speaking to Congressman uh, Jim Kingston uh, before you, uh, you guys uh, came on with us. And, uh, you know, he's talking about uh, the resignation of Sebelius and also so the money, the money, and they don't know how much it is, but he reckons it's around a billion dollars uh, spent to uh, advertise the Affordable Care Act. There's no transparency. They've managed to get their hands on, on some records of some of the expenditures. And a lot of it going to uh, rich uh, celebrities already uh, with a lot of money to begin with. So, uh, you know, it, it never ends uh, with this, uh, Ed. No, it, it, they keep spending. Uh, Congress tried to limit some of them in the last uh, omnibus bill. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see how that works. What about it, uh, Evgeny? You know, uh, what, what can I say? They, they spend a lot. Um, I'll add the caveat that with a program like this, you do need a lot of advertising, but I'm sure a lot of it was, uh, was wasted and misappropriated. Um, you think that uh, Kathleen Sebelius is going to be the uh, fall person when all is said and done, uh, that the uh, incoming uh, HHS director, if she's uh, confirmed or whoever it is, is uh, eventually going to start, you know, kind of hinting around that, uh, well, you know, now we have the right people in place or maybe the administration will have start hinting around that now we have the right person in place so things are going to get better? Is this uh, what this was all about? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think Kathleen Sebelius is certainly already the, the, the fall guy, so to speak. Um, in the Rose Garden ceremony uh, earlier today, President Obama basically said that there's no one, uh, no one better to be in this position than uh, than Sylvia Burwell. It's a kind of backhanded uh, knock at uh, at Sibelius's handling of the whole situation. Yeah, so it started it started already at the uh, at the transitional press conference, even though she exactly. hasn't been approved yet. Uh, Ed, yep. uh, not surprising that the president would operate that way uh, so quickly. Yeah, but you know the, the problem that they've got is that you can't. You can only blame so much of this on the technology or the vendors or uh, the political appointees. I mean, at some point, the real problem with this is that the underlying structure of this thing makes it unworkable. And so the the only relevant question is: Does she? Ha does the new secretary have enough running room to start, you know, giving on some of that? Yeah, no, I, I absolutely. Well, it's going to be interesting to see moving forward, and, and the whole thing is a disaster. And you know, and now they're up to uh, seven and a half million. Of course, um, at least twenty percent of those haven't paid anything. And uh, if you if you look at the rand uh, numbers that have been out twice, um, it's much much less. They've overinflated well, these numbers tremendously. I, I would actually go further and say that based on you know what we just heard, that the secretary is resigning, that she's been thinking about doing this for a while. Uh, that, in my mind, would just increase the skepticism about how accurate or real uh, that la the numbers that they they haven't even published them. They're just claiming them uh, are on that supposed last-minute search. Well, you know, it's funny because you know she had a page missing in her speech, and uh, th there's a joke going around. I don't know who started it online somewhere. That uh, that's the page with all the uh, the enrollment numbers. <laughs> <laughs> that's the page of the data. Yeah, the page of the data. Oh, sorry, we don't have that page here. <laughs> all right, let let's move on to um, uh, a, a woman who um, is much more accomplished and yet has uh, come under really really harsh scrutiny um, uh, twice in the recent uh, few weeks. Uh, Condoleezza Rice. Condoleezza Rice was supposed to be a commencement speaker at Rutgers uh, University, and the about 200 professors on campus went after her. She has no right to speak. Let her speak at another uh, event, but not there. Uh, she, uh, you know, she lied to us about Iraq. She got us into war. Basically, she's an extension of G.W. Bush and, and Dick Cheney. And now, uh, this company Dropbox, which uh, runs a, an internet cloud, uh, has hired Condoleezza Rice to be on the board. And um, you got internet activists and others calling for a, a boycott of Dropbox. Uh, because of the fact that they uh, are now affiliated with uh, Condoleezza Rice. Yevgeny, in the wake of the uh, Mozilla uh, fiasco with the CEO uh, <laughs> losing his job because of the uh, gay activists going after him for doing something perfectly legal and legitimate, um, where are we in this country? 
I mean, it's it's very upsetting. Uh, I, I can guarantee you, if it was uh, if it was Hillary Clinton speaking at a commencement speech, and uh, and the people at the college didn't want her speaking there, the public reaction would be much, much, much worse. We we have a double standard here against conservative women, um, against conservative politicians. Uh, when General Petraeus went to teach at CUNY, there was a huge backlash from the students, and he ended up just taking a one dollar salary to, yeah. to continue teaching there yeah and, it's and, it's disgraceful and, and yeah and you're right and ed i remember playing the video of general petraeus i mean he had no security with him and yeah. what these 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 so-called students did to him following him as he crossed the street putting himself in his life in danger really and and just in his face shouting at him and calling him a criminal and i mean outrageous treatment yep yeah, well, it, it, as a friend of mine says, inside every progressive is a stormtrooper trying to get out. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I mean, look, I, I mean, this whole tolerance issue, you know, the, the first thing in defining tolerance is you define the outer boundary of that which you won't tolerate. And uh, that's what the left is doing here, is they're defining a lot of the rest of the world uh, as beyond the boundary of what is, in their view, tolerable. And then they're trying to impose that on the rest of us. No, absolutely. And, you know, here's another example, gentlemen. We, uh, we know that Hillary Clinton uh, had a shoe thrown at her. I, first of all, she was speaking at a, <laughs> at a uh, waste management um, uh, uh, convention in Las Vegas. I guess if anybody will write a check big enough, she'll speak. Uh, so she's, she's talking about at, at a waste management convention, and a woman, and it turns out there might be a, a, a connection with uh, Che Guevara and, uh, and this woman, this attacker who threw the shoe at Hillary, but that's not the point. The point is the media rightfully portrayed it as a horrific event, and, uh, and that what if the shoe had hit Hillary, and she handled it so well, and how dangerous, and it, it's tough to look at. Um, and yet I have documentation in my hand from when George Bush had the shoe thrown at him, <laughs> Um, they <laughs> praised right. that man as a literally as a folk hero uh, in the Arab world. And when he got out of jail th after three months instead of three years, one MSNBC anchor, David Schuster, even said, "Good for him." Uh, I mean, the, the 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 hypocrisy and coverage of the, of those two events is stunning, um, just just stunning. Yeah, I'm not sure what they achieved by that. I mean, you know, who are they kidding? Yeah, well, they're not trying to fool anybody. I, I guess it's. <laughs> I guess it's who they are, and they don't care, uh, Yevgeny. I mean, I, you know, to to uh, to watch the, to watch it today, and then to be taken back and watch. First of all, Bush, that shoe was coming at his head, and yeah. he, I mean, right at his head, and it, it, he really could have been hurt. And they 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 applauded the shoe thrower. You know, it's uh, like I said, it's just disgraceful. We we've developed, uh, as as Ed said, this culture of uh, quote unquote tolerance that's intolerant to anything. Um, beyond beyond these very well defined boundaries, and we're we're, we're sticking to that. Uh, you can't even question the gender gap, uh, the, the 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 alleged gender wage gap nowadays, uh, without being called a sexist, uh, you know, a pig, whatever. Right, and and here's the, the the weird part about that, Ed, is the White House used an argument when they were confronted with the 88 percent, 88 cents on a dollar in the, in the in the White House situation. To say they said, well, 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 there's circumstances that make that uh, not really true. They <laughs> yeah. gave the argument for making this whole argue, this whole issue a moot yeah. point. Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah. The, the 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 complete lack of any recognition that they were com undermining their own position, or the irony of saying exactly what critics of that statistic say, which is, well, you have to adjust for differences among people and right. how much time you're in the workforce, etc. And right. the administration came out and said, well, yeah, we pay men more, but that's because they, you know, have been in working longer. Right. They made every every argument, and then Obama, two minutes later, is out there, you know, <laughs> giving the same line of 77 cents. Hey, gentlemen, it's been fun. Thank you very much. Um, uh, welcome aboard, uh, Ed. Uh, uh, nice to talk to you. And, of course, Thanks Yevgeny, we'll speak to you both again. Uh, Always Thanks pleasure. for participating in the panel. All right, folks, when we come back, Cleta Mitchell will be here. She represents lots of the groups targeted by the IRS, and she's going to have a lot to say about Lois Lerner and where we are right now on the Steve Malzberg Show on Newsmax Television. We don't just talk about the news. We talk to those making news. This is the Steve Malzberg